Okay, this is the picture that I chose. Yeah, birthday party. Yeah, this is from last semester. My students had a surprise birthday party for me. It was a big surprise because this was in August and my birthday is in November. Uh. <laughs> but it was still a good party. So I thought that this would be a good picture to write about because there's lots of information um, and I think it's an interesting, fun thing to write about. Oh, they had a, they had flowers and a birthday cake and balloons. It was a really good party and they sang me happy birthday. I felt very special. So if I was going to write about this, write our newspaper article about it, the first thing that I want to do is I want to get some ideas. And you're going to use um, a bubble map, kind of like what you did before. So in the middle, I'm going to write my topic. What do you think the topic should be? Surprise. Surprise. Party, yes, surprise party. Happy birthday. Surprise party. Now, when um, journalists, journalists are the people that write newspapers, when they write stories for the newspapers, they think of question words, who, what, where, when, and why, to talk about, to help them. So I'm going to add those, who, what, where, where, what, when, and what's the last one? How. 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 I want a WH one. When? Who, what, where, when? Why? Why? Okay, so um, now I want to put in the information on this and then that will help me to add lots of details when I'm writing this later on. So the who, well, first there's me, you, mm -hmm. and who else? There are the students. Now if I put students, that's good, but I could add more detail here. There are students in my Grammar 2 class. So that's giving more information about the students. And I could probably tell some of the students' names if I wanted to. Do you know anybody in that picture? No? I see him this uh, shirt, black. Black shirt that I'm wearing. What's his name? Oh, Mohammed. His name is Mohammed. I think it's Brown. Maybe, but he's Mohammed. Okay, so who? Students, and then uh, grammar. Um, in this class, I think there were twelve students. I will have to check to because I've forgotten that a little bit. Okay, so there's the who. Now I need to put when. This was in August. And it was the last day of class. It was on a Thursday. And it was at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So there I've got lots of information about when. It was in August, Thursday, last day of class at 2 o'clock. Okay, so where? This was at SBSU. Right. SBSU is really big though, and if I just write SBSU, yes, it was in a classroom. Good. And I could put some more inform 
information and put the name of the classroom here. It was in uh, Science East 119, I think, was the name of the classroom. Um, and if I wanted some bigger information, like where SVSU, where is SVSU? It's in Michigan. Michigan. This might be important for your, what you're writing because your when might be in a different country. And that's in the USA. And I could also use the word Saginaw if I wanted to. In the world. In the world, right. It's not on the moon. <laughs> okay, so I think these are the easiest ones, the who, what, where, or the who, when, and where. Now the what. When I'm talking about the what part, I might want to organize this by like one, two, three, because there were different things that happened. So I think I'm going to put here one for what happened. So the first thing that happened was the student said, don't come in the room. And I thought, hmm. The students shut the door because they weren't ready when I came. And then when I opened the door, what do you think? It was a surprise and they sang. And then the next thing was they had a cake that had candles on it. And so they said, blow out the candles. So the next thing we did was the cake and the candles. And then they gave me some flowers. And then the last one that we ate, because I had some food, and so we ate for the party. So if you have a lot of things that happened, you might want to organize them by putting them one, two, three, four, five, to show which things happened first there. Um, I could add some more details here. The cake, it was an ice cream cake, so I could put some more details here. And then the flowers, I could use an adjective and put some more details. They were purple. And then I can put some more details about what we ate. There were, uh, there was chocolate and chips and Arabic coffee. Um, so I could put in there a lot of details. Then I might say, I might even put some more details like the Arabic coffee. I might say who made it. Mohammed made the Arabic coffee. So once you start going, then if the farther, the more circles, the farther out you go, the more details that you got. So if in assignment number one, um, for details and information, you were in the second part instead of the first part, work on putting more details on your bubble map and then that will help you to put lots of details when you write. Of course, when you start writing, you might decide that some details are not important, and you can just cross them off. You don't have to write about everything. But if you have a big list, then you will have lots of ideas, and it will be easier because you won't have to write about everything. And then finally, why? Why did my students do this? Okay, yes. And actually, this is the funny part. 
because they thought my birthday was in August. But they made a mistake. It's in November. It's in November. <laughs> so I was very surprised. But it also made me feel very special. So <laughs> there's no problem. No problem for that. Sometimes uh, we do before to make a very special. Well, it was a very big surprise. Do you do it that far before? Because that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so what I would like you to do next is you're going to get your picture that you have yeah. to write about and start making um, a bubble map like this. Start with what your topic is and then go out from there and do your WH questions. Who, what, where, when, and why and then start putting in the information for that. Um, you might find some good vocabulary in your picture dictionary, or you can use your phone or talk to somebody to get the vocabulary. If you can't find the word in English, just write it down in your language and then so you don't forget it. And then later on, I can help you find it in English or somebody else can help you to get it in English. What are you going to do? Make a bubble map about about the picture and using what words? Where? Who? What? When? When? And why? And on your what, when you're talking about what happened, you might want to put it in order one, two, three, um, so that you can use that later on. Ready? All right, go ahead and get out your picture and start working on this. Thank you.